Hey everyone, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime, and I'm here to give you a channel update. Uh, one of the very first ones ever since the takeover. For those who don't know, this channel used to be the Zelda Informer YouTube channel. Uh, and part of my contractual agreement in... Really, I'm done at Zelda Informer on April 30th, so there was a, kind of a signing out contract, which enabled me to have this YouTube channel. And... Now that I have this channel, it's rebranded Nintendo Prime, and it's been, you know, a couple months. I just want to give you an update on where things stand with the future of the channel and why it's actually been a while since you've seen me on camera. Probably about a couple weeks, you know, maybe a week and a half at this point. And there's a few reasons for this. For starters, uh, the recording area I was using before is no longer available to me to use on a regular weekly daily basis and it's not because it vanished uh that studio area is actually part of my house and part of my living areas and it was difficult keeping that up every day because you know I, I have a family i've got three kids i got a girlfriend and it was really hard every time you come to the basement one of the very first things you see is this massive studio set up right next to the playroom uh so it's one of those things that i can only have set up every once in a while so i was trying to find a new solution for this and this area, this place you're seeing me recording right now, is actually in my home office. And my home office isn't very big. Maybe it's 10 by 7 or so. It's really not that big of a space. And trying to squeeze all of my work stuff in here, my ability to do streams when I play games in here, and my ability to set up video recording uh, like this was a journey. Let's just put it that way. And if you guys saw the last episode of the podcast, which again, I do apologize we haven't had one, but I'm going to get to the explanation here. Uh, there was audio issues on my end, and part of that was the hiccups with this new setup. So uh, the audio on this should sound, sound fine. The pre-testing on it went fine with a single microphone. Been having an issue when we bring mic number two into the mix, although they work well individually. So it's something I'm still working out. I had an issue with the headphones. Uh, so there's a lot of little things I'm trying to work out before we go back into podcast producing full time because last episode we brought in a third person and I think bringing a third person into the conversation really upped the ante, it really improved the quality of the conversation and I want to ensure that we continue to improve the quality of the podcast. So I didn't want to keep producing podcast episodes at a suboptimal level with bad editing, bad audio, uh, a green screen that wasn't working. Now back here, I now have a new green screen up on the wall. Uh, it's probably not even perfect for this video. I know as an example, I don't know if it's going to show up because I haven't edited this video yet, but uh, there, I know there's like a, a crease here that uh, probably is impossible for me to get rid of in editing. So I got to find a way to smooth out that crease or at least move the crease further off camera um, but anyways, you know, so part of this video is obviously a test for me to see if my new setup actually works and functions the way that I want it to. Uh, so yeah, this, that's kind of where the podcast is at. I'm hoping to have the podcast back, not this week, but next week. Uh, I, again, I have to do some more testing, some more editing and, uh, making sure everything's working out great. Again, we do not have a mixer board. You know, I had thought about purchasing one, but again, we're really small. I don't really have the money to purchase a proper mixing board for all the audio to make all the different feeds, whether it's being streamed online from Skype or something or from local microphones all mixed together. Well, uh, it's something that hopefully I will have someday. So for now I'm doing the best I can. So that's why the podcast hasn't been around. I also want to say, uh, I think we're finally over the slump. Uh, anytime a YouTube channel changes branding, even though I've been on this YouTube channel the entire time, like since the YouTube channel's inception, I've been here. Uh, anytime there's a branding change, there's bound to be people who aren't too enthused that we're not doing just nothing but Zelda. So it was Zelda Informer, now we're in Thunder Prime. We've done plenty of like Breath of the Wild live streams and stuff and, and some Zelda videos, but it's finally reached a point where we are gaining subscribers more than we are losing them, which is a wholly positive sign. Uh, in fact, I'm thinking of even doing a celebration when we hit 21,000 likes, doing a big thank you video, because that's a milestone to me. That is like a 500 like milestone uh, over what we lost. So we dipped down at one point to, it, it was actually uh, 20,498 subscribers, and now we're up at the 2700s, uh, I'm sorry, the 2700s, the, the, the 2700 
And uh, so if I can go from that up to uh, 21,000 total, that means that we've gained 500 subs since becoming Nintendo Prime. And that is exciting for me. That's like our first true 500 subs. Uh, and I will be, you know, emphatically thank you for all of that. Uh, in the meantime, you guys have probably noticed that I put up some discussion videos. And these discussion type videos, these topics, these rants are things that seem to be doing well. You guys seem to be responding well to them. They're getting a lot of vibes, a lot of views, a lot of likes. Um, and I think it's been a big reason we've had such a turnaround in subscribers over the past week. So I, I thank you that you're enjoying you know, those, those quick little ditties, those news reports, those reactions. And I'm going to keep those going. Now, uh, I hope to have myself on camera with the green screen more often as I do them because they're mostly unscripted. I basically do some research into the topic I'm talking about. And as soon as I start getting bubbling thoughts in my head about how I'm going to react to it, I, I, I don't even say it to anyone. I wait to say my very first words when I record the video because I want everything to be raw. I, I don't want myself to be too scripted or too careful in what I'm saying. I'd rather you get my instant raw reactions to whatever the news is or whatever the topic ends up being. Uh, so I am really happy you're enjoying that content. Uh, I also have a, a new video that I'm going to be producing, uh, especially if the podcast doesn't happen next week. Uh, it's a conversation with Eric, who is the co-host of the Nintendo Prime Podcast. And the conversation, for all you Zelda fans out there, is going to be based on Breath of the Wild. Because for those who don't know, Eric, the co-host of that podcast, this is basically his first Zelda game. Uh, he has seen me play other Zelda games. He did uh, play some Triforce Heroes. But this is the first one he's invested in. This is the game that's making him want to play other Zelda games. So... I want to sit down and have a conversation with him as someone who is almost 30 years old, just now getting into the franchise with, with arguably his first Zelda experience, and what that is. What what about that is drawing him in? What made him want to try this now? Uh, and I think it'll be an interesting conversation because you have me, who you know I'm 18 year you know in the industry veteran of Zelda, uh, 30 year veteran of playing Zelda, and then you have him who's brand new but around the same age. And I think there might be an interesting dynamic talking about Breath of the Wild in that setting. I was going to save it for the podcast alone, but I think it's going to be such a long segment that it's going to be deserving of its own video uh, separate from any podcast recording. So again, if I can't get anything else going for the podcast next week, that is something I hope to, to do. Uh, beyond that, the channel has is kind of in a limbo for other, other video ideas right now. Um, I know I promised in the past uh, a Zelda Inquiries episode every single week. Again, there's been so many issues uh, in my recording studio that it hasn't been feasible. Uh, and I, I hope to get back into that and hopefully get that Zelda Inquiries show going back. Because you guys really liked it, which is no surprise. Um, we have a lot of Zelda, you know, people who follow this this YouTube channel for Zelda. So I want to make sure that we are being true to the people who originally followed the channel while venturing off into new air avenues, such as these discussion videos. And one thing I want to do, and this is a far off idea because this is Nintendo prime. I want to make sure we nail Nintendo is I do want to have a once or twice a week, uh, kind of discussion series that deals with things outside of Nintendo. So even the discussion videos, like when I talked about GameStop or when I talked about JonTron or when I talked about Anita, it all dealt with things that affected Nintendo, right? See, like JonTron affected Ukulele and Ukulele is a game that's coming out on Nintendo Switch. You had Anita Sarkeesian and her comments had to do with Breath of the Wild. You had... Uh, what was the other one I just said? I don't know, the GameStop thing and how that impacts Nintendo and them predicting the sales and yada, yada, yada of Nintendo Switch. So some of this has been controversial. Not all of it has. There was the one video that was stri strictly basically news and just my reaction to that news. And I enjoy making that content. It's way more enjoyable to me than going out and writing a news post on NintendoPrime.net. So I'm up. I'm in a conundrum now where I, I want to keep creating video content, and I have NintendoPrime.net, and I don't know if the focus should be the channel or if the focus should be on the, you know, reporting of news. So I want your guys' feedback on that front. Otherwise, uh, you know, I, I'm still, you know, we still have Daniel making some videos. Uh, he had an equipment malfunction. He had a Breath of the Wild video in the works, and his capture card died. So he, he and I are kind of working out some kinks between the capture card issues 
and the footage he needs and trying to make sure that he can get his video flowing again because he's the one who did the thing like you know why we love metroid you know why zelda means so much to us uh the super mario maker episode all of those were done by daniel and i want to make sure that kind of quality content keeps coming in at a consistent basis uh so yeah that that's really all i got for you guys uh hopefully you continue to check us out like what you like uh we do have a patreon for those who are interested i need to update that patreon because it's massively out of date with what we do at nintendo prime um but that allows us to do things like up upgrade our you know recording studio and be able to generally afford to keep doing nintendo prime as a full-time job the more time i can afford to give to nintendo prime the more content you're going to get and the higher quality that content's going to become uh, as fun as it has been doing those daily videos it hurts me knowing that it's just audio with mostly still images uh even as i try to jazz up those still images it's still that's not the quality of content that i feel like you guys deserve i feel like you deserve me on camera uh so you get my raw expression and you can see how much i mean when i'm saying these things uh i do want to get that boss man series rolling again but again this is kind of like my test video so sorry for being rambly this is totally unscripted unhinged just raw Nate letting you know what's happening at Nintendo Prime. Uh, and one final note, this is it. We're about a little, we're about a month and a couple days away from me no longer being part of Zelda Informer. And um, it's, 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 this is a really emotional time for me. So I apologize ahead of time if I, uh, in certain videos, uh, invoke some emotions, emotional reactions out of me. Um, like I'm kind of getting a tear right now. Um, over leaving Zelda Informer because um, Zelda Informer was kind of my baby. I didn't found the place. I wasn't one of the founders. I didn't create it. But I was there when the site had, you know, 100 viewers. And now today it's getting 30, 40, 50,000 some days. So it, it, I, I was, it, it's had almost 200,000 on some days. I helped build that. I was a big reason it got to where it was uh, and where it is today. So it's going to be hard letting all of that go but i believe and i hope you guys believe too that this journey we're on together at nintendo prime is something personal something fun and something we all will enjoy together thank you and i'll see you next time